Okay, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. So, Runway Gen 4 just released a new tool today publicly, and it's called the Runway Gen 4 References. Now, for the longest time, I kept saying, you know, one of the things that's going to make AI a little bit more usable is if we can have some consistency in between the shots, especially with character. Now, with this tool right here, that's probably possible now. Now, I know I am exploring all kinds of technologies right now with animation, with Unreal Engine 5, but I'm closely watching AI to see, you know, how good it's going to get. So right now, we're just going to play around with it. I just got it. Now, unfortunately, you do have to pay to use this, which makes a lot of sense. But yeah, let's go ahead and play around with it and see what we can get. So I'll just upload this image in here as our reference. And I'll change her name, Lucia or something, right? And that's going to save it here, which is what we want. So we have her as reference here now. And I will just delete her right now. And after that, what I'll do is I'll say at Lucia and sitting down, down in a dimly lit post-apocalyptic diner. All right, so we'll generate sitting down in a dimly lit post-apocalyptic diner. All right, so the generation is done. And I got to say, this is the reference image that I uploaded. That looks pretty darn close. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to now reference this image. Okay, and then what I'll do is give me an exterior of the interior view, exterior shot of the interior diner. All right, let's try that. All right, so here's the generation. Oof. Yeah. And and you can clearly see what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, this is going to be honestly, it's one of those things every time I see something on like social media, I it's one of those things I got to try it first. I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to these things, but this is going to be an interesting tool. So what I'll do is I'll select this as a reference image right here. And I'll just go to video, select asset, go to sessions. And, well, I guess I didn't have to select that because it's already here. Let me choose this here. And that's going to load it up. So in here we'll go a handheld camera moving closer to, what's your name again? Lucia. Oh, maybe All right, so we'll do, we'll go gen four and we'll do five seconds. All right, so here's our video. I'm not sure why it's raining, but I guess that's cool. You can upscale it to 4K if you want, but yeah, this is, this is probably another huge step with AI because Think like commercially when you're shooting like commercials and whatnot. For you to actually first find a diner like this, you have to get permits if you want to do it correctly, obviously. But yeah, man, this is, um, and this is what I'm kind of keep saying. Like, I've been uploading like Unreal Engine videos again. It's just not getting any more views, is because like AI is just getting freaking crazy, man. Like, I'm trying to do like both sides, uh, making videos on both, but it seems to me like as far as view count goes, AI is getting so good that people are starting to really question themselves as far as like, hey, is is it really still worth learning? You know, like making cinematics and stuff. Cause yeah, yeah.
this is pretty crazy.